We're going to get going in the first. Jay Wolf swings it over to Ethan Friedel, and what a way to start the game right off the bat, a three-pointer. But the Jimmies find their answer, and John Pierton, the senior, he's going to get the defense with the jab step and waits for the defender to blow by him for the easy two. But the Chargers, they had great ball movement on there, and Kyle Borahov gives it up, but Jackson Lamb's going to give it right back. Borahov spins right off the defender for two, 18 points from him on the night. Then the National Player of the Week pulls up, and he's going to fire. Jay Wolf is always dangerous when he's got the rock in his hands. He flirted with the triple double, 10 points, 8 rebounds, and 7 assists. We'll see one of those helpers right here. Wolf, the cross court to Jackson Lamb, and from the dining hall, this three gave Briar Cliff the lead, and Jamestown's got to call a timeout, but nothing they could do to stop the Chargers. Briar Cliff wins this one 86 to 70. Looking at the women's matchup between these two schools, in the third, and Briar Cliff up big, but Alyssa Carley, she's going to fling it over to Madeline Dedeker. And she's going to fall, but she gets the basket as well. She's going to get right back up. More Chargers working on the blocks. Logan Ellers gives it up, but unintentionally, she gets it right back, and she's going to nail the second chance bucket for the Chargers. And well, Briar Cliff was scoring at will. It took a while for the Jimmies to chuck up a second half bucket. With just under three minutes in the quarter, this three from Allison Jablonski is Jamestown's first made field goal. But like I said, the Chargers were firing on all cylinders. Taylor Wagner stops and pops for three of her 14 points. Then Taylor Vassa is swarmed by three defenders, but she'll lay it off to Ellers, who finished with a team high 15 points and nine boards in this one. The fourth would be a grind for both teams, but Briar Cliff comes out on top, winning 54 to 53. We're going to stay in the city. The ninth ranked morning set women hosting Dakota State and picking this game up in the second quarter. Kaylee Burke to Faith Meyer, and Morningside's going to go up 12 after that. And whether it was the perimeter game or on the blocks, the Morningside offense was exploiting Dakota State's defense. Grace Meyer skips to Sophia Peppers for the easy two, and the Mustangs, they just kept pounding it inside. And when you have a dominating force like Sydney Hupp, why not just do that? The junior finished with 20 points, and Dakota State just trying to claw out of that hole. Morningside loses track of Aubrey Medema, but that's not enough, folks. The Morningside Mustangs are going to come out on top in this one, winning big, 89 to 65.